Well, in my classroom, we read a lot, which of course is not surprising. We read books, we read magazines, we read songs, poems, newspapers, and yes, indeed, we read comic books too. But we do more than read comic books, we also make comic books. So our unit started with, of course, reading a lot of comic books and looking at the way comic artists tell a story. We reviewed many of the techniques that the kids had learned from writing narratives, their own personal narratives. One of the great things about working with comic books is, well, of course, for starters, it opens up the visual realm. People that, that feel more comfortable telling a story with pictures suddenly have a lot more that they can do with their stories. And because we've opened it up to any kind of imaginative story they want, that gives some kids some freedom and that makes people excited about the whole process. This project allowed for a lot more collaboration than usual. Students were able to stop by and look at what another student was doing, maybe offer some suggestions, or even perhaps uh, help them draw something or give some idea for the story. We looked at examples of comic book art, and we talked about the ideas of composition and how that relates to pacing, uh, whether you change the shape and the size of your panels, how much action you include in each panel, whether you have close-ups, or shots from far away, whether you change the background shading or color from panel to panel, and how that moves the reader's eye across your page. We talked about that in relation to the way we have typically studied stories and how you use very detailed stories and how you use dialogue within a story. All in all, it was great fun to see what the kids came up with, and they did some really wonderfully detailed work and great storytelling, and perhaps most important of all, we had a lot of fun with this project.